Welcome everybody, this is your boy Geronimo Toro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash the like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, now before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Weez GNZ Gaming and even Moldy Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go and check them out and we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install the strap belt top for your MP female mod. So why don't you go inside my description below and go and download and install all of the latest requirements. Once you have finished with that then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. Once you have finished with that, then go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Next, go to your update folder, go to your time 64 go to your DRC packs folder, then now go to MP gun running right there right click copy that folder then go to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder then go to your mods folder go to update go to time 64 go to your DRC packs folder then just paste that folder inside there once you have completed that exit out of your game folder Next, open up your Open IV. Then now go to your Grand Theft Auto V Windows. Your application should open. Go to Edit Mode. Select Yes. Then now go to your Mods folder. Go to Update. Go to Time 64. Go to DRC Packs. Then go to MP Gun Running. Then go to DRC.RPF. Then go to Time64. Then go to Models. Then go to CD Images. Then go to MP Gun Running Female.RPF. And now go to the first top folder. Now, next, open up your Strap Top Extract folder. And now wait for a few seconds. It's out of that. Open up this folder. And now all you got to do is select all of the files and drag it inside your open IV. Next, exit out of your extract folder, go to edit mode, go to GTA V, exit out of your open IV, right click, refresh your desktop, and I will see you guys in the game. And now we're here with Franklin and our game did not crash. Now, I didn't mention this, but I'm going to mention it now. But you do need to have a MP female to make this mod work. So, I'm going to get my MP female from this menu. I'm just going to get any casual MP female. And I got my MP female right here. This is just a casual MP female. Now, to actually spawn the strap belt top on my female, you'll need to use any trainer, but I'm going to use Minyo. So press F8 twice on Minyo, and now go to play option, go to wardrobe. Now go to front view, this will bring up the whole view of your uh, female paired. And now go right down to the bottom, to tops to outer 
Now you will need to go all the way to type 223. Bingo, right there. So that is it. Now you can change the color to black, uh, white, and now the the text will change to on the on the uh, top yellow, green, pink. So yeah, but my favorite color is black, so I like black. Black and red is my favorite colors, so that's the top guys, and it's really really awesome. Uh, yeah, so that's how you guys inst in basically install it. And now we are back, and I hope you guys do enjoy that mod. That mod is an awesome mod. But like always, if you guys do get stuck installing that mod, then please let me know in the comments, and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or if you do get stuck installing any other mods for GTA V or Cyberpunk, then let me know in the comments, and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well. Now, unfortunately, I'm not active inside my YouTube comments. So if you need fast help and support, then join my Discord server. Make sure that you do join the PC modding support server. And then now uh, you guys can get more support over there and I can help you out over there as well, okay? So with that said, if you guys did enjoy the video or if this video was helpful, then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and I will see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace and I'm out.